They keep busy stretches of I-94 and other state roads safe from speeders and crashes, but a number of state troopers don't think of Wisconsin or even the United States as home. What's behind the wave of new recruits from all around the globe? Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne with the international flair on the force. I'm just going to light up the car. We meet 30 year old Richard Callis on his first day as a Wisconsin state trooper. It seemed pretty routine. Callis got assigned to squad park anywhere over there and finish some paperwork. The only thing foreign was his that's, accent. Gonna that's always going to be a conversation starter for you. It played on my mind. Maybe people might think, is this a joke? Is, you know, hopefully the car might persuade him a little bit, perhaps. Callis is from Leicestershire, across the pond in the United Kingdom. Located between London and Manchester in the heart of the UK, it's a far cry from the streets of Racine County he now patrols. The good thing is, though, coming to the US, so many things do translate, you know, treating people with respect. That's universal. Um, and I'm hoping to take the best bits of what yeah, I know so from the UK means, with the good training that goes on here at the State Patrol um, um, and hopefully go to patrols. some good places with that. Callis spent 11 years working for Leicestershire Police. His wife is from Wisconsin. We were actually long distance for five years. Uh, every two months we were traveling backwards and forwards. When he heard about a job opening with Wisconsin State Patrol, he jumped at the opportunity. After 26 weeks of training, I must be honest, it was more rigorous than I expected. Richard B. E. Callis. Callis graduated in June. And the newest troopers of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Turns out Callis isn't even the only Wisconsin State Patrol trooper with an international background. The department draws recruits from all corners of the globe. Among his graduating class, a trooper from Barbados and one from Venezuela. State Patrol doesn't require United States citizenship. Employees have to be able to prove they can work in this country without sponsorship. The department won't sponsor work visas. Why pick Wisconsin? Well, I'll say that the main thing is the people of Wisconsin, they're extremely friendly and welcoming. From the moment I landed here about five -ish years ago, I've always been welcome. I always felt welcome with the people here. Trooper Lucas Gavioli was born in Brazil. He stationed in Columbia County, Wisconsin, and graduated from the academy last year. It allows me to have a different perspective um, once I'm at a traffic stop or, you know, if I'm hearing someone's story, especially if they're out of the country, I can relate sometimes for their difficulty in explaining um, some, maybe a rule that they didn't understand and that we have to still enforce, but sometimes we get a little bit of that perspective of someone who's not from here. Callis experienced a different kind of culture shock. As a law enforcement officer in the UK, you don't carry a gun. Correct. So I would say Leicestershire Police maybe had five to seven percent of our officers were armed. We don't really have access to firearms like we do here in the United States, Second Amendment rights, all those type of things. Callis didn't grow up around guns. This job changed that. I actually took a concealed carry class before going to the academy just to try and increase my knowledge a little bit on firearms. There are things he misses about home, like family and his favorite foods. I am a nightmare for Cadbury's chocolate, but I am a little bit pretentious because I kind of like chocolate from England. I'm sorry. What about like cheese curds? So I love cheese curds. Um, even better if they're deep fried. You know, this is uh, that was a new thing. Like we don't have cheese curds in England. Completely different than the with Oscar's frozen custard right next door. Yeah, I've never seen custard in the UK at all. We felt oh, obligated to introduce a true Wisconsin treat. The smallest, yeah. plainest vanilla. Vanilla. Custard. That sounds very English. Yeah, that's 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 great. <laughs> yeah. The smallest, plainest custard. But please tell me you're going to get one as well. People do hear my accent and go. That's not, not, that's unusual, but okay. But my plan is just to be myself. That's a good thing for policing in general, you know, different perspectives, different ideas. A true blend of cultures. You should start a petition, get him a Cadbury uh, frozen custard. Maybe. It could, it could happen. <laughs> Leaving their mark on Wisconsin. It's been a really uh, wonderful journey so far. With photojournalist Justin Dubois, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. I think there's a new friendship there. <laughs> State Patrol tells us they do not keep any statistics on the number of non-U.S. citizens hired into sworn officer positions, but we can tell you there have been at least a couple of international graduates over the last few years.